The Cairn Terrier is one of the oldest terrier breeds, originating in the Scottish Highlands and recognised as one of Scotland's earliest working dogs. The breed was given the name Cairn, because the breed's function was to hunt and chase quarry between the Cairns in the Scottish Highlands. Although the breed had existed long before, the name Cairn Terrier was a compromise suggestion after the breed was originally brought to official shows in the United Kingdom in 1909 under the name Short-Haired Sky Terriers. This name was not acceptable to the Kennel Club due to opposition from Sky Terrier breeders, and the name Cairn Terrier was suggested as an alternative. They are usually left pod which has been shown in dogs to correlate to superior performance and tasks related to scent. Cairn Terriers are ratters. The Cairn Terrier has a harsh weather-resistant outer coat that can be black, cream, wheaten, red, sandy, grey, or brindled in any of these colours. Pure black, black and tan, and white are not permitted by many kennel clubs. While registration of white cairns was once permitted, after 1917, the American Kennel Club required them to be registered as West Highland White Terriers. A notable characteristic of Cairns is that brindled Cairns frequently change color throughout their lifetimes. It is not uncommon for a brindled Cairn to become progressively more black or silver as it ages. The Cairn is double-coated, with a soft, dense undercoat and a harsh outer coat. A well-groomed Cairn has a raw and ready appearance, free of artifice or exaggeration. The Cairn Terrier was registered into the American Kennel Club in 1903. A nine-week-old Cairn Terrier with brindle coat Cairn Terriers tend to look similar to an orange terrier, but with some differences. Their outer layer of fur is shaggy, but they have a soft, downy undercoat. Their ideal weight is also 4. 57.3 kg and the height 9 to 13 in. Cairn Terriers exist happily in an apartment if sufficiently exercised. They are very active indoors and suffice even without a yard. Daily walks help keep Cairn Terriers happy and healthy. Fence and yards are strongly recommended for safety and well-being as well as being kept on leash when not in the yard. Cairn Terriers are particularly easily trained. Ethical breeders strongly suggest obedience school or some other type of training to direct care terriers focus on the owner as the one in command if they are going to be used for hunting. If allowed to take control of the household, behavior problems may develop that can only be resolved by hiring a professional dog trainer. Many breeders only sell puppies to dedicated dog owners who agree to basic obedience school.